All right, let's dive into the world of migraines and explore the different types and their unique symptoms. Migraines, as you might know, are not just ordinary headaches. They are a neurological condition that can be quite debilitating and significantly impact a person's quality of life. There are two main types of migraines, migraine without aura and migraine with aura. Migraine without aura is the most common type, affecting about 75% of migraine sufferers. People who experience this kind of migraine usually have moderate to severe pulsating or throbbing pain, often on one side of the head. Other symptoms may include increased sensitivity to light, sound and smells, nausea, vomiting, and a heightened need for rest. On the other hand, migraine with aura affects around 25% of migraine sufferers. An aura is a series of sensory disturbances that occur before the headache phase. These disturbances can manifest as visual symptoms like seeing flashing lights, zigzag lines, or blind spots. Other possible aura symptoms include tingling or numbness in the face or hands, difficulty speaking, and even temporary loss of vision. The headache phase of a migraine with aura typically includes the same symptoms as a migraine without aura, but may be less severe. There are also some less common types of migraines, which present with temporary paralysis on one side of the body before or during the headache, and vestibular migraines, characterized by severe dizziness and problems with balance. Understanding the type of migraine you experience is essential for recognizing the symptoms and managing the condition effectively. Proper identification of the specific type of migraine can also help your healthcare professional determine the most suitable treatment plan for you. Now that we've discussed the different types of migraines and their symptoms, let's talk about identifying common migraine triggers. By understanding what causes your migraines, you can minimize the frequency and severity of your migraine attacks. Migraine triggers can vary greatly from person to person, but there are some common ones that many people experience. Let's go through some of these. First, certain foods and beverages can trigger migraines in some individuals. Common culprits include aged cheeses, chocolate, alcohol, especially red wine, processed meats, and foods containing additives like monosodium glutamate. It's essential to keep track of your food intake and identify any patterns that might suggest a specific food is triggering your migraines. Another common trigger is changes in the environment. This can include weather changes such as barometric pressure fluctuations or extreme temperatures, bright or flickering lights, and strong odors. Being aware of these factors and taking steps to minimize your exposure can help prevent migraine attacks. Lifestyle habits also play a significant role in migraine frequency and severity. Stress is a well-known migraine trigger, so managing stress through relaxation techniques, counseling, or even exercise can be beneficial. Furthermore, maintaining a consistent sleep schedule and getting an adequate amount of sleep each night can help prevent migraines, as sleep disturbances are another common trigger. Dehydration and skipping meals can also trigger migraines. So it's crucial to stay well hydrated and maintain a regular eating schedule. For women, hormonal changes related to menstruation, pregnancy, or menopause can be migraine triggers as well. In such cases, it's essential to work closely with your healthcare provider to manage these hormonal triggers effectively. In conclusion, identifying your specific migraine triggers in taking steps to minimize your exposure to them can significantly reduce the frequency and severity of your migraine attacks. Remember, what might be a trigger for one person may not affect another. So it's important to pay close attention to your own experiences and make adjustments accordingly. Now that we've discussed types of migraines and common triggers, let's explore the various treatment options available for managing and preventing migraine episodes. It's important to note that there's no one size fits all solution and what works for one person may not work for another. So it's essential to work with your healthcare provider to find the most effective treatment plan for you. First, let's talk about medications.
there are two main categories of migraine medications, abortive and preventive. Abortive medications, also known as acute or rescue medications, are taken during a migraine attack to help alleviate symptoms and stop the headache from progressing. Examples include over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen, naproxen, or aspirin, as well as prescription medications such as tryptans and erbotamines. Preventive medications, on the other hand, are taken regularly to reduce the frequency and severity of migraine attacks. These can include beta blockers, antidepressants, anticonvulsants, and even Botox injections. Keep in mind that these medications may take several weeks to become effective, and it might take some trial and error to find the right medication and dosage for you. Apart from medications, there are alternative therapies that some people find helpful in managing migraines. These can include acupuncture, biofeedback, massage therapy, and relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing exercises or meditation. It's worth exploring these options if you're looking for a more holistic approach to migraine management. Lifestyle changes can also play a crucial role in preventing and managing migraines. As discussed earlier, identifying and avoiding your specific triggers can help reduce the frequency and severity of your attacks. Additionally, maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, staying well hydrated, managing stress, and engaging in regular physical activity can all contribute to better overall migraine control. In conclusion, there are various treatment options available for managing migraines, ranging from medications to alternative therapies and lifestyle changes. It's essential to work closely with your healthcare provider to develop a personalized treatment plan tailored to your specific needs, as finding the most effective approach may require some experimentation and patience. Remember, the goal is to reduce the frequency and severity of your migraines so that you can live a happier and more productive life. Moving on, it's important to discuss the potential complications and long-term effects of chronic migraines. Chronic migraines, defined as experiencing headaches on 15 or more days per month for at least three months, can have a significant impact on a person's mental health and daily functioning. First, let's address the impact on mental health. Chronic migraine sufferers are at a higher risk of developing anxiety and depression. The constant pain and discomfort can lead to feelings of hopelessness, frustration, and even social isolation. It's crucial to acknowledge these feelings and seek professional help if necessary, as treating the underlying mental health issues can also contribute to better migraine management. Moreover, chronic migraines can affect a person's daily functioning in various ways. Tasks that were once simple, like going to work or spending time with friends, may become challenging due to the pain and other symptoms associated with migraines. This can lead to decreased productivity at work, strained relationships, and a reduced quality of life. Additionally, chronic migraines can also result in a phenomenon called medication overuse headache. This, this occurs when a person takes pain relief medications too frequently, leading to a vicious cycle of headaches that are difficult to break. It's important to work with your healthcare provider to ensure you're taking medications as prescribed and not overusing them. In some cases, chronic migraines may also increase the risk of developing other health issues, such as stroke or cardiovascular problems. This is why it's crucial to work closely with your healthcare team, not only to manage your migraines, but also to monitor and address any other health concerns that may arise. In summary, chronic migraines can have a significant impact on a person's mental health and daily functioning, making it essential to recognize the potential complications and work proactively to manage them. By seeking appropriate treatment, maintaining open communication with healthcare professionals and making necessary lifestyle changes, you can take control of your migraines and work towards a better quality of life. Lastly, let's discuss the importance of proper diagnosis and working closely with healthcare professionals to develop a personalized treatment plan for managing migraines effectively. As we've seen, migraines are a complex neurological condition that can significantly impact a person's life. Therefore, it's vital to obtain an accurate diagnosis and establish a strong partnership with your healthcare team.
Getting a proper diagnosis starts with providing your healthcare provider with a detailed history of your symptoms, headache patterns, and potential triggers. This may involve keeping a headache diary where you track the frequency, duration, and severity of your migraines, as well as any associated symptoms and potential triggers. This information can be invaluable in helping your healthcare provider determine the type of migraine you're experiencing and rule out other potential causes of your headaches. Once you have a diagnosis, it's essential to work closely with your healthcare team to develop a personalized treatment plan. This plan should take into account your specific migraine type, triggers, and any other health issues you may have. As we discussed earlier, treatment options can vary widely from medications and alternative therapies to lifestyle changes. Your healthcare provider can help you navigate these options and find the most effective approach for your unique situation. Remember that managing migraines is often a dynamic process and what works for you at one point in time may not be as effective later on. Regular check-ins with your healthcare provider are necessary to assess the effectiveness of your treatment plan and make any necessary adjustments. Open communication with your healthcare team is crucial, so don't hesitate to ask questions, voice concerns, or share any new developments related to your migraines. In conclusion, recognizing the importance of proper diagnosis and working closely with your healthcare professionals is crucial for developing a personalized treatment plan that effectively manages your migraines. By staying proactive, and maintaining open communication with your healthcare team, you can take control of your migraines and work towards a better quality of life.